Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hoppity hop hop, hoppity hop hop, look at Peter go. Hey! <laughs> Here comes Happy Peter Easter, Cotton. purple mouthers. Have you painted your eggs yet? For me, egg painting has always been a part of Easter tradition. My mama always made sure we had a cool kit to snazz up them eggs. In recent years, I've gone a little more old school as Easter egg painting doesn't really exist in Chile. However, my wonderful mother sent me this kit last year with sponges and beads and sparkles. And so look at me now. While growing up, wine didn't participate. But now that I'm a big kid, <laughs> it does. So what are the essentials for this egg painting party? Hard boiled eggs. If you don't know how to do that, you're a little bit behind in life, so figure it out. <laughs> your kit, your, your jam. And if you don't have a kit, don't worry. Just Google it. You need water, vinegar, food coloring, easy peasy, good time. Wine, of course. <laughs> of course you need wine. I would recommend something a little lighter for the occasion. Uh, something that can stand alone. So sparkling. Always a good time. You know I love that sparkling. Or something like this lovely Riesling that I'm currently drinking right now. And what goes good with dry Riesling? Jelly beans! Riesling's solid acidity will help balance the sweet and tart characteristics of the bean. Sometimes you'll get a dud, really can't do much about it, but just Wash it down with some more Riesling. Oh, these are terrible jelly beans. <laughs> Blah. Where are jelly bellies in this country? I basically bought these jelly beans because of their name. It is fantastic. They are Porrotitos Resurrección. Porrotitos Resurrección, which literally translates to little resurrection beans. <laughs> resurrection beans. Screw magic beans. We've got resurrection beans. Little resurrection beans. <laughs> if I eat them, will I resurrect? Not big on candy these days. I mean, honestly, I'd rather have a plate of cheese. I did do some research. I thought it'd help you out to do some more pairings with your Easter candy. Typical pairings such as Prosecco and Peeps. Those Terrible little marshmallow thingies. <laughs> but Prosecco, it's good. Cadbury eggs and port. Now that, I would really like to eat that actually. And something I just might have to try. Reese's peanut butter eggs and Pinot Noir. I read that one and thought, well, huh, I'm gonna tell the purple mouthers about that. The Easter Bunny always used to make sure that I got some Ferrero Rocher in my basket. What would I pair with that? I do believe a really nice blend, heavy on the Merlot side. That would be fantastic. Do you have any favorite pairings? I would love to hear them in the comments below. From there, some hobbity music, like the Beastie Boys, uh, Most Deaf, or on a totally different level, something like Frank Sinatra, you know, old school. Just something kind of like that, you know, while you're dipping your eggs and you're like... Pew, pew. So here we have a really uh, cool little egg painting kit. It's so pretty, so Eastery. Then I also have this thing where it says you can paint a crayon on it. So you got to do the crayon before you put the paint. Clearly I'm going to write purple mouth. We could have a really good time here. You know, something all crafty, this just always goes good with wine. Oh, oh. And I don't know if you're an egg painting expert, but I kind of am. So the longer you let it sit in the colors, the deeper the color gets. Oh my God. It says purple mouth. I don't, shh. Isn't that a lovely green? Mm. It's just so fun. It reminds me of being a kid again. 
and then we can get crafty. There's where the Beastie Boys come in. She's crafty. She's just the type of she's crafty. She's what I like. So we're going to do some really cute stickers here because they're just dorbs. Oh, and then we have the little spongies. Bleh. We'll just flip it around and try it again. My mother always made sure that we had an Easter egg basket or an Easter basket to find. The thought was that the Easter bunny came overnight, kind of like, you know, Santa, and he, we would leave a basket out with eggs. And the old Easter bunny would come on through and leave us a basket full of goods. And I just have these great, the best memories of getting like a My Little Pony or just all kinds of candy. And it was so, it was so fun. My mom was, is so cool. So, sponges, not really, not really a fan. Mm -mm. We can go ahead and try the glitter out, see how that's going. So we have this really cool glue. So these are gonna be the ugliest, <laughs> ugliest eggs. You're gonna say, oh, you, you were drinking a lot of wine when you did those eggs, weren't you? Glitter party. A little bit of crafting and wine is always such a good time. You know, it's such a good way to relax and, and get in the, the Easter spirit. So, happy Easter, Perpy Mount. Perpy Mouthers. <laughs> Perpy Mouthers. Perpy Mouthers. So, happy Easter, Purple Mouthers. I hope he comes to see you. When I say he, I mean the Easter Bunny. I hope the Easter Bunny comes to see you, leaves you some nice little candies and sweets, and maybe a bottle of wine. Maybe the Easter Bunny will be really good to you and leave you some resurrection beans. Sippity, sip, sip, sippity, sip, sip. Look at Peter go. Ho!